مشتري ولا بدك تدفع When you're an artist, you get to wear the same pair of old sneakers every day and no one finds it odd. I could just say I take photos. Or I make films. Publish magazines. Or work in passion. But I feel it's too limiting. I think artist is easier. في حدا حدك؟ It's hard to say. They're actually pretty light, but the weight of how they're perceived is a little heavier. They automatically soften my face, I feel. But it really is just that perception. People perceive my work to be queer at the core, and that's not necessarily wrong, but it isn't completely factual either. Queerness seeps into everything I do because my affinities and experiences are, I, I suppose, inherently queer, but That's not how I look at my work. I work on memory, and the past, and softness, and family, myself. It does seem to mostly fall around queerness and community. They're superstars. Every single one of them. My superstars. They're not heavy. They feel lighter by the day. Smear, smear. My father wrote that. He wrote a lot, actually. Obsessing about his shadow like I obsess about the sun setting, or time. I want to remember everything. If I remember everything, time doesn't scare me anymore. My father recorded a lot as well. Us. Days worth of footage that no one ever watches anymore. I record everything. Other people. To remember them as well, like a witness to their lives their histories, so that they're not forgotten. I think the fear of my own imminent death plays a much bigger role in my work than I would like to admit. I have this fear that my shadow will leave me every time the sun sets. Blue is a highly desirable color for water. Most people search for travel destinations with the bluest beaches. People related to tranquility. I related to the blue dress on Virgin Mary statues. But then again, I, I grew up much more around religious iconography than I did around swimming pools. The visual stimulants that populated my young mind drew from very different cultures. I drooled over Rolling Stone magazine covers. I recorded every episode of Fawazir Ramadan and rewatched them endlessly. Anime girls, American sitcoms, melody hits, girl groups, boy groups, Bedouins, boys in magazines, boys in fields, boys in Asian movies, boys that fix things, boys on the internet. Artists from all over the world, performances, radios, talks, and much more. Art is very much a privilege. Your every inner thought and expression is given space to exist and a platform to be admired and appreciated. It's also a little too self-involved with its own fair share of shit. 
imposter syndrome, bullshit, backlash. Calendars, desktops, video calls, shared docs, Instagram, WhatsApp, email. I mean, it's never one thing at a time, so I end up enjoying nothing. A lot of people are frightened that if they go away, if they disappear for a while, everything will crumble. It's always the afternoon in the Caravaggio painting. Even when it's not. If you happen to be in that spot, that right spot that the sun is hitting, it's, it's heaven. But whatever the afternoon sun hits is transcendental, even if that's the decapitated head of a drunk.